Sergeant Nathaniel Robles. I'm the non-commissioned officer in charge here with my team of MWSS-371 and 7th ESB. So today we are doing a comparison between our typical system, the helicopter expedient refueling system, comparing it to a new system they're trying to either modernize or replace with, which is the Advanced Aviation Forward Area Refueling System. So the comparison we are doing here, we're, ca we're capturing setup times and teardowns. So today we did an air insert with the two systems, seeing how long it takes so we can see how expedient we could be. So in future conflicts, when we have to actually get our system in and fuel aircraft in a timely manner, we know which system is going to be more effective. So the HERS is the helicopter expedient refueling system. We've been using it for over 20 years. We've been using it for a long time now. It's been providing fuel to aircraft for a long time efficiently. Uh, we set up today is a two-point FARP on each one. The biggest thing we're comparing right now is the flow rates. So we capture the flow rate at the meters while we are in the process of fueling those aircraft and seeing which one's actually giving more gallons per minute to the aircraft. Today, the biggest thing, though, was actually seeing how long it takes to air insert. So we landed with the CH-53 Echo and compared how long it takes to, come to set up that HERS and AFARS, Advanced Aviation Forward Area Refueling System. So today, the AFARS was actually quicker in setting up with 14 minutes compared to the HERS. The new system does have quick disconnects, which has stopped us from spilling fuel. And then the filter steps are actually a little bit smaller, which are more lightweight for us to carry, but they're not putting out the proper gallons per minute that we need at the nozzle.